this wheel that I've been asked to true I think um, I'm strongly suspecting that it's been laced up the wrong way I didn't put it together the guy who owns the wheel uh, laced it up and asked me to true it and uh, I have got a horrible feeling that with these spokes here being so loose and so near the ends of their threads with the nipples screwed on they're not taking up the slack and yet they're uh, the same length as an original spoke he gave me to compare with and I think what's happened is I think these um, spokes here on the brake drum side are crossed the wrong way for instance I think this one here going over to my left should be pointing that way to my right and vice versa if we did that that would allow the rim to be brought up because there's nowhere near as much offset on the brake side as he's uh, made a note of that there should be it would allow me to lift the rim considerably and then these spokes would probably reach the next hole along and that would bring the whole thing up and explain everything so I'm going to try and do that I've got to get all this lot out and then I'll have to get those spokes on the other side undone cross them the other way they can probably stay in the holes that they're in just cross them the other way and then start putting things together and hopefully it might start making a little more sense and maybe go together more as it should but um, at the moment the offset on from this side is way too low and those spokes on the brake drum side are standing almost vertical so uh, it all seems to tie in with his 48 millimeters of offset he's specified for this side and only 18 on this side that that rim's got to be moved over a good way and I strongly suspect that crossing those spokes the other way on the brake drum side will be the key to it so that's what I'm going to do when we come back to it and have a look I think I'm onto something right I'm back with this wheel again and um, as I suspected the spokes on the brake drum side wanted crossing in the opposite directions to um, how they were when it came here when uh, the owner assembled it and that enabled me to shift the spoke holes on this upper side round a touch and uh, use up more of the length of these spokes it's a bit of a sort of complicated thing to explain perhaps but um, it's sort of basically it's shifted the wheel rim round by just a few degrees in a direction which suits the spokes on this side and what basically happened is um, they've all been able to reach a hole further away for instance this spoke here would have been going into that hole but now with the result of those spokes being arranged differently the rim comes over closer to this side and the spokes can reach into a hole further along so that's what I've done and it's worked and I've trued the wheel up now and um, let's see I've got my um, clock there to look at the radial run out one rotation of that clock face is a millimetre so we're well within half a millimetre radial run out there I've got the offset um, as specified by the owner um, the distance measured from the edge of the brake drum to the edge of the rim so that's all sorted um, we'll have a look at the side to side run out next see what we've got hopefully the camera might pick this up I've got it on the tripod so I can't hold it as close as I would like to to the clock but hopefully we can see there we're well under half a millimetre there as well perhaps if I zoom in on it let's see so I'm very happy with the run out the wheels come together quite nicely in the end I'll put the uh, camera down there we'll play some music on the spokes 18 aside let's go there
17 there. So that's a wheel all ready to go. Have a tyre and tube put on it and go back on the bike. Job done and that rounds off my day.